this generated a lot of excitement in March. Um, we had some evidence in vitro, that is in test tubes, that hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine, which are actually anti-malarial drugs, had some effect against SARS-CoV-2, which is the cause of COVID-19. So people were very keen to try these drugs on real patients because these are cheap drugs and these are widely available. So we had some reports coming out uh, in March from France that hydroxychloroquine in combination with another antibiotic called azithromycin was uh, dramatically effective for a group of patients with COVID-19. This has then been investigated in a number of studies that came out from China as well as other groups in France and the US and the findings have been much more controversial or contradictory so some groups say there's some evidence that it might help to reduce symptoms other groups say that it makes no difference in terms of mortality rate or transfer rates to the intensive care unit so the jury is still out what we are really waiting for at the moment is what we call a randomized controlled trial. So this is a very, very rigorous kind of study design that looks to pit hydroxychloroquine against usual standard treatment for COVID-19, which is just supportive care with oxygen. And uh, these studies are usually conducted on uh, many, many patients and uh, with, with a very rigorous kind of uh, analysis of the results to really dissect out whether there is any effect of hydroxychloroquine on COVID-19. What we have had to date are mostly what we call observational studies. They are retrospective, so they are look-back analyses, and uh, some of them do not have a control group. So these kind of study designs, what we have up till now, have a lot of biases, right? So the, uh, there are subconscious biases pushing the investigators in one way or other. other. So what we really need to answer the question definitively is a randomized control trial. So I certainly hope it works. I would say the data until now is, uh, uh, is not entirely promising, uh, but the randomized control trial will answer that in the coming months.